Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, welcome to my playlist. And in this video, we are going to get started with the Svelte Kit. So what we are going to do is how to get started with a very basic application in Svelte Kit. I mean, all different framework provide a CLI tools to create a, and spin up your basic application. Either you talk about Create React App, Angular CLI, or Vue CLI. Similarly, we have this uh, Svelte uh, Create React App kind of setup. So we need to just npm create a Svelte. And we need to answer a few things okay you want a typescript uh, support you want a eslint support you want a, a eslint uh, and after writing the basic uh, thing your setup will be ready now what you need to do is you need to get into the folder and do npm install but here is a catch we need to also think about what node.js version and npm version that it is supporting so this is our folder structure created now we need to see uh, if you look into the documentation, it doesn't support anything below 16.9. It's a Node.js version. And how we can switch the different Node.js versions? Using simple NVM commands. Right. And now we can see that our NPM install has failed. So what we need to do? We need to go to the appropriate version of Node.js. And we need to install it. Meanwhile, you can just uh, look into the folder structure. Here we have a source, we have a static tests, and uh, package.json. We have three different configurations: Svelte config, TS config, and Vit config. Okay, so uh, TS config is a TypeScript compiler configuration. Apart from that, we have Prettier RC, ESLint RC, and all. Now, if we look into this error of installation. We can see that I think this is a Node.js version issue. So I started using 16.0.0 because it is saying that version should be greater than 16.0.0 and then I can just do npm install again. I'm just checking if it is supporting v16.0. That is fine. Otherwise, I will I have to try the another version and it is saying required version is 16.0, uh, 16.9.0. So I need to install it first. NVM install v16.9.0 and then I can just do NVM use 16.9.0. And with that, my Node.js version will be 16.9.0. You can also set this Node version default. Otherwise, whenever you open the terminal, you have to switch the Node version because your terminal will use the default Node version, which is in my case is v14.5. And now I can just do npm run dev. And my application is started on 3000. And in this application, you can see we are using Pit, which is actually a host module reloading uh, setup, like same as the Webpack Dev server, which is launching the application. It's a server side rendered content. So we need to go to localhost 3000 port to see how this application looks like. And this is like a application with a skeleton not application with the hello world it contains already some code so this is how it looks like this already contains some code you can see source static folder and the dot swell kit dot swell kit is generated whenever you do npm run build or npm run dev this is the generated artifacts which the the wit uh, plugin or the which tool is publishing the application on the browser okay uh, we can just play ping pong with this application this is the home page and what do you see on the home page so for what is getting rendered we need to look into the routes the routes are like the places which is deciding on forward slash what swelled component will be rendered on forward slash to do what swelled component will be rendered so here this index dot swelled which is inside the routes folder is getting published on the forward slash so this is called server side routing on forward slash this is rendering this page which contains some counter and here we can also inspect the source and see what all uh, network calls are happening whenever you reload the page because this is a compiled html we are getting from the server side and the whole content we are showing on the we are publishing to the browser and browser is able to load the, the that content so we can do hard reload and we can see all the components are getting rendered all the chunks javascript uh, chunks all the components are getting returned from the server side so the, the the use of the browser is just to accept it and just render the content okay now we can also look into the other 
routes like we have a to do's so if you wanted to create a if you wanted to create a, another page so here what we are doing inside a to do's there is a another component index dot svelte index dot svelte means represents the the root route so you can see in the routes folder we have index dot svelte and inside a to do's also we have index dot svelte so when you hit a to do's it will publish index dot svelte component so similarly i mean we can create another component let's say uh, i will create a folder my inside my folder i can put the content some default content which we have from the about dot swell component i will copy and paste it and we'll see when i change the route to forward slash my then it should be able to publish this index dot swell which is created inside my folder now let's go to the browser and see the magic here i will change the to do's to my forward slash it will you can see the some kind of a component is rendered that is coming from the index dot svelte inside the my folder so this is how the server side route uh, really works we just create a folder put your components and it will start working so we have two different kind of things we can also do a api routes so wherever you see the api routes those files will be extinct have extension dot ts components will have a dot svelte so inside dot ts you can see we are writing some http get call to some resource and then we are returning the content so this is i mean you can return the mock content some json data or you can make a api call from this and then return the data to this uh, your client app but this is a server side route and this route is returning some json object not the swell component so it's like a, it, it can be considered as an api route so whenever from the local host 3000 whenever you hit to do's forward slash api you will see this whole page in this package.json you can see all the the required dependencies here we are using wit plugin so npm run dev npm run build npm run preview npm run lint and format which is using pretty rc and lint rc uh, es lint rc and then we have some dependencies we can see the ts config is there which is a type script compiler configuration and when you hit npm run build npm run dev let's try npm run build how it uh, looks like so it is actually generating the build and you can see all the chunks generated all the components generated here all right so we can just do npm run dev and we can start the application again so this is how the pretty much configuration look like we will look into deep about the wit config ts config swelled config but this is how the basic hello world application looks like uh, from the high level view let's get started and what we will do is we will get our hands dirty with writing the more swelled pages and 